confessions of an aging scarlet. In 1992, aspiring filmmaker Jennifer Critchlow sat with actress and icon Mimi Defoe to make a documentary about her life. Over two days of shooting, Mimi refused to actually appear in front of the camera. Lies were told, martinis were spilled, and Lucia Ball was called a communist. <laughs> Everyone makes some noise for Mimi Defoe, Confessions of an Aging Starlight. People always think they know me. Like the soldiers on those tours, they loved me, lusted after me. And I let them because it's what I could do for my country at war. <laughs> I stayed mostly in hotels, uh, sometimes an embassy, sometimes a barracks with the Women's Army Corps. I uh, bet the troops loved having you on the base. Did you get to interact with them much on a day-to-day -day basis? What are you asking? <laughs> um, did you get to eat with them in the mess halls? For a few meals, yes. Okay, uh, did you ever see any combat? Were you ever in any danger? Uh, in any danger? If you count the ever-present risk of contracting VD. <laughs> <laughs> but if you mean, was I exposed to combat situations? Of course not. This was the army, I was the entertainment. How would it look if Mimi Defoe were wounded? or worse yet, killed on a USO tour. I, I believe that you said that- Did I mention that Christopher Arthur Craig came with us on those tours? Um, no, could you circle back? Homo. Wait, <laughs> Chris, Chris, who? Chris, Chris Craig. Christopher Craig Gay, there's no, no sorry, there, there, there's no way. Oh, there is a way. That had to have been idle gossip. No, 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 no. there is a way. He was very, very gay. And he gave as much of himself to those troops as I did. <laughs> keep it going, keep it going. 